Hi guys, welcome to my video. Today in this video, we will model this part together. Let's close it and open a new part, build together step by step. A new part, and then I create a sketch. On top plane, I create a sketch and I draw here a circle, which is 180 millimeter in diameter and in thickness 10 millimeter. Now we're gonna create some cutouts and holes. I create a sketch, I take a line, somewhere in this direction I draw a line, I select it and convert to a construction geometry and place here a circle. Circle will be in diameter of 17 and a half and this is 70 millimeter. Maybe we can make a little bit bigger. I don't remember exactly, but let's make it like this. Yes, it's good. And then we cut it by two millimeter. Cut extra selected, big all linear pattern, circular pattern. Maybe let's do this after a whole wizard operation. Now I pick a whole wizard, a counter sunk, metric 5, and DIN EN ISO 746 is our bolt. And we come to this back surface and drop it here. What we're gonna do now, press control and then select the point and select this one and say concentric. So now axes are concentric. And I say OK. This is here, cut it. Now it is time for circle pattern. This is better in this way. This edge is selected. What's going to be a pattern? This two and eight time. And then we say okay. This is pretty much done. Now one more old wizard. Now we're gonna cut an. Uh, again at a bolt uh, hold but now the socket head din 912 will be active we drop here randomly and we pick a line to align with our axis i click tab and the drawing axis is changing please notice that explain i will say this one if you look the axis here, I want to make this in Z. Make a long Z. Didn't happen. Oh, we have some axis height difference. Okay, we're going to correct it. I delete it. I pick a line. First, I start in Y axis. And then I press Tab and I change my direction. This is good now. Construction geometry and this will be in Z and the other is already in Y, yes. Now the pitch here will be given. It is 30. Hole was metric 5. And we can close this. An operation is done. Circular pattern. Direction will be a uh, circular edge somewhere out. And this will be 6 times copied. Now it is good to give some chamfers. For example, here 0, 05, this whole surface and this edge, and then we close it. 0, 05 five is a bit bigger for this uh, cutouts. Let's say 0, 025. Now we can save it. We create a new folder, example, and there. I will say PP1, which is part part one. Now I will make a save as and save it as PP2, which means a new part. And then I will remove these guys because the 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 most of the features are same with the second part. Only in this area we have some difference. So I remove those guys. I remove those guy as well, and then I will look from here. 
on the top uh, plane, I need to cut out something, but I will make something smart. I will go here, boss extrude. I will edit my sketch and I will put here one circle, which is 50. I will say OK, and I get this one. Instead of cutting, I add it to a boss. After I create here a sketch, and I place here a circle again, this is 75, will be cut with the depth of 5. Another sketch on top, sketch, let's look from normal to, and a slot, with center one, I place here one, I place in this direction, second. Control press, as I always do, equal, equal slots. Then I will give here a six, and then I will say here, 125, a little bit less maybe, 120. Sketch is closed. I will come to extrude cut, select this one, select this one, it's contours. Then five millimeter, it is good. And we can put some chamfers here, here, I will select them separately. Yes, it seems we are okay. Face. This face will not be able to make because already there we have seems one chamfer at the other side. Yeah. Chamfer a bit bigger here. Hole wizard. And threaded hole will be cut. Metric 5, positions, 3D sketch on the surface. Let's check the axis. Axis again, high with respect to the level we have. Then we get a line. We can continue like this. And then tab, and then we change our axis. It looks like this. And then we make both of them construction geometry. And this one in Z, along the Z, yeah. Some dimension, 32 is good. We close it, this is selected, circular pattern, this is the rotation axis or direction, and four time. This part also pretty much done. Now I open the assembly. Let's start to put parts in assembly and see how they look like. First PP1, second PP2. Okay. We know this should be other way around. And this is here fixed. I click right. I say float. I open part. I select origin. And this origin and I combine I made constant let's say it's better the origin of assembly and the origin of my base part secondly I need to make this two part in the same axis I select outer edges and now I get one problem which I find I should find my axis alignment in the in the holes Cutouts, front plane, and front plane selected. We create here a coincidence. It's good. Now, next part, guys. Very simple part. Front plane, line, and I will draw something like this. A little bit uh, longer also here and this is construction geometry this is horizontal please remember this was 17 and a half here I got an uh, no, 5 and here I got a 9 or 8 
it's both good. And here I will give a 12 and a half. Okay, it looks good. And we make a revolve. Now some chamfers. Here, 2 times 0 0.5. Here I will put a special chamfer. When you want to place one object in a tight tolerance that surface, it's good to have a longer chamfer. It makes your life easy. So that's why here the chamfer will be asymmetric in diameter 0 0.5, but in height it is 0 0.5. Sorry, 25 to 0 0.5. It will look like, like this. And this is really good when you place parts together. This is a nice principle, very nice detail. And uh, hole wizard, metric 5 position will be in the surface. And I select this point, I select this point, and control press, I say coincident. So I don't want it to be drilled hole, and I make the depth 10. This will be PP3, guys. We go assembly back, insert components, PP3, here is the guy. I will make one more copy of that. I will rotate it. Okay. I will do this way. This selected. This is selected. Concentric. Let's do this way. This is also concentric. So we have still one uh, direction. It's not constra constrained. And this will be constrained. And this surface and this surface will be selected. It's good. Maybe we, what we can do now, we give some colors. Let's do this way. These are orange parts. To distinct part, it's always good to give some color. This is blue. And this is yellow. Okay. I would like to add now Bolt, under thin bolts and screws, hexagon socket head screws, and this guy will be the one that we use. Right click create, metric 5 by 16, and then I will bring it to the environment. So, yeah, this is it. Components, this is selected. This is it. Now, the most important part, let's say most difficult part of this whole modeling, spring. Top plane selected, sketch. I draw here a 14 and a half millimeter diameter. I close sketch, helix and superals pitch and revolution active so we start to give values 2 by 2 and then 5 by 2 and then 5 by 8 5 by 9 and 2 by 10 2 by 11 hey, what we do here now First coils will be very close to each other, like in real life, first two coils, two, three coils very close to each other, and then the normal pitch starts. I try to define here. First two coil is the one, I have some attack. First two one is the very close one. From there to five, I make a transition here, and then I have my normal uh, coils here and then after I reduce the numbers again I did it here like it is symmetric with respect to number four we take this in the middle and up and down is symmetric so height is 46 I got this right plane we create a sketch here I put a circle I select my 
helix and I say Pierce. But also constant. Sorry. Let's do this way. This point and this point. Control is pressed. Sorry, I miss it. Yeah, this two is. I don't know why I have this fully a coincident and pierce. Yeah. So then I will give dimension. I want to make two millimeter coil, but in real life it can happen. But in SolidWorks, it will not allow you to do that because when it is uh, having uh, contact between two coil for swap operation will not be done so that's why I cheat program a bit and I write here one nine 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 eight but the representation will be uh, as two which is good sketch selected helix selected swap ball space you don't do anything here say okay on front plane top plane I will cut the bottom Cut with surface and surface cut here. Top plane selected, reference plane. The height was 46 and huh, from helix. If you remember here, 46 ultimate height. I create a plane on that height. Simply, I select top plane and I went to reference geometry and then I will cut this. A body with a uh, plane so I can hide this I can save this part somewhere here it's not important PP 5 I go back to my assembly insert components PP 5 guy here and I will select the surface, I will place here, and I want to say this wasn't edge, this should be a surface. Yeah, coincidence here, a coincidence here. So now we have a difficulty, we need to find a way to make concentric. So I'm going to use this helix. I'm going to use this helix uh, sketch one and this uh, surface and I will make it here um, a coincidence so concentric but it didn't work okay let's do this way we open this uh, spring origin is selected top plane is selected now uh, control is pressed and I say access sorry Access is to again origin and top plane. I create in the center an axis. Now I can use that axis to define a relationship here. Axis here. I select axis and surface, control is pressed, and I get this concentric relationship. Took us a while, but it is now succeeded. We select uh, PP trees, bolts, and spring. Control pressed, and I go to circular component pattern. Direction will be this circular edge, circular surface, and then I will copy it eight times. And at the end, you have this model. It was it. It wasn't very difficult. It is uh, not immediate be be beginner. Uh, a tutorial but uh, there is really nice features that you could learn here I covered whole modeling of part and spring and assembling them in NSE and even we used an, uh, a library of SolidWorks and uh, I hope you like it if you like it hit the like button make a comment and see you in another video